Back here in central New York with periods of heavier rain expected today across the area. People east of Syracuse are hoping that it does not cause any more flooding damage. People in Oneida are continuing the cleanup efforts and our Brandon Roth is live in the city of Oneida with the latest this morning. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Lisa. A state of emergency remains in effect here in Oneida. You can see the uh, area that has been evacuated. This is area known as the Flats neighborhood. It's a low-lying area. About 150 homes in this area were evacuated. At some point, some of those homes were under as much as 14 feet of uh, water at the height of the flooding. Now, residents uh, starting yesterday, some residents have been allowed to return temporarily, escorted and being allowed to return temporarily to their homes to get items at the height of the flooding. Uh, some of them had to rush out of their homes literally with what they could just carry on their backs. But uh, again, uh, some residents allowed to return back. More residents are expected to be uh, allowed uh, as those properties now are being uh, inspected and deemed to be safe for residents to return. Uh, emergency shelter uh, has been set up for those that have been evacuated at the YMCA in Oneida, and a mandatory curfew of 8 p.m. remains in effect around the evacuated area. You can see police here are on patrol to make sure those homes that have been evacuated remain safe. Uh, now, some good news. The wastewater treatment plant has reopened. That had been shut down due to the flooding, um, and that had caused uh, the release of some uh, raw sewage treated with chlorine into Oneida Creek. Speaking of the, the water here, uh, the city is again advising people to make sure they stay out of any of the water as, again, there has been the release of some raw sewage and certain chemicals in that water as well. Now, again, some residents, again, expected to be allowed back temporarily here, but the state of emergency continues, uh, is expected to continue uh, as at least through tomorrow as the city is cause, calling this flooding here the worst the city has ever seen in its history. We're live this morning in Oneida. Brandon Roth for Today in Central New York. Brandon, thanks so much. Tonight, there will be an open meeting scheduled at 6 p.m. at Oneida City Hall. State and county officials will discuss flood recovery efforts. The meeting is going to be held on the second floor of Oneida City Hall. That is located on North Main Street.